What is going on guys? Judo Sloth here and welcome to today's PUBG Mobile video. Diving straight into arcade mode here. We have item heaven. We're going to dive to the back of the map here. There's plenty of houses to try and get to. Hopefully people will jump out before us, but let's see if we can get the chicken dinner on this one. I'm going to do a little sideways dab as we come down here. Obviously the key on these arcade game modes is to get to the ground as soon as possible. Then we're just going to pick one of these random houses. Keeping an eye around us, make sure there's no one else there. But hopefully we should be quickly to the ground here, get some weapons and take them straight out. So I have landed on the roof, not ideal. Let's just back out and get into that house. Oh my word. Having a little bit of trouble guys, but a level 3 vest, it is item heaven. And man, what a start. I'd rather have a gun, to be honest. What do we have here? Anything will do. The Uzi will do me. I couldn't see anyone or hear anyone landing next to us. Basically, guys, I always recommend if you can get to the ground quickly and you see people diving around next to you, just charge them straight away. If you have the opportunity, I would always recommend going for it. Times four score. Let's get that other. And I see but a little bit distracted there, guys, because that gunshot I thought was closer. But I picked up the 9mm ammo. Just trying to see if we can catch anyone out on the side here. Let's close that door because there is a bunch of stuff there. And one of them is the Mini 14. Actually, I'd rather have the Uzi than the shotgun as my sidearm. Struggling a bit here, guys. But hopefully, struggle doesn't last too long and we can get going. There's a guy just over here. What I'm going to do is put my times 4 on the mini and just make sure it's already on there. Just make sure that we're good here. Let's drop that. Then let's go from there, guys. We should be able to hunt down. Where is this guy at? He should be oh, he's right in front of me. Wow, I did not see him. That is where moving around, keeping yourself busy is what you need to do, guys. He had the advantage on me all day long. Circle is coming in now, so I'm going to have to just use one of these health kits to get out of here. I'd prefer to use the bandages, but the health kit is going to have to do because that circle is going to come in. I'm going to put the mini on because I am suspecting that if I see anyone, we'll be at a greater distance than what we are running now. Let's go ahead and put that mini then, just kind of sprint from this position should be good i will try and keep an eye on people on the way guys but obviously you do want to try and get to that circle keep yourself in cover so i'm kind of running in between the houses here just going to quickly scout my way down there i thought oh didn't quite lead my shots well enough i kind of got a little bit spooked when he ran out there to be honest i, I was expecting to somewhat see someone down there but then he all of a sudden just came on the screen so i'm going to move across to reduce his line of sight if he tries to look at where he was shot from pretty much at the circle now and i think it was that blue house there that he ran into so i am going to make my way up to that I do have a stun grenade so i'm going to throw that in the window before we charge him see if we can take him out so uzi is definitely the best weapon to be charging into buildings stunned him if he's in here he might have just jumped straight back out the window or he might have gone to the top floor. He hasn't looted this. Let's just take that. Stun grenade will have wore off by now. So we don't have to worry about that. We're out of the circle again. Now I'm going to. A quick look up the top here. Adrenaline shot. And a better level 2 helmet than what I have. I'm going to make sure I keep myself moving here. But I am going to move in a second. There's a guy there. Oh, I probably shouldn't have took that shot just because oh, I have a guy chasing me. So I'm going to jump off the side here. Kind of get ready for him. He's just around this corner, guys. Hear him. And third person peek him here so he can't see me around this corner. He's down here. There he is. Not sure whether that was a bot. I couldn't tell whether he had any armor. There is that guy right on top of the house. So I'm going to have to play this one kind of safe. Pretty sure he's seen me there. Yeah, he's definitely seen me. I have to rely on my shot being better than his. 
which they were guys now in situations like that it is tough to say definitely you know take that shot it all depends on how confident you feel with your shots i was actually quite confident that he was sitting there with his head exposed to the point where i could kind of peek around the corner and take him out relatively easily i am aware that i'm running straight across this field and there's a guy to my right definitely heard him firing seven people left we should be able to clutch this one out guys i'm feeling confident i would like some more boosts and health i'm kind of charging right to this tree line where there's got to be people in the trees there waiting for me we're ahead of the circle now so let's take this opportunity take that guy down did make a little bit of noise so i'm going to rotate to the left here try and get a little bit of better coverage from the tree circle is right on me there is a guy there left himself exposed he's got the advantage here so he's gonna have to wow I, what i was trying to say is he's gonna have to push me here but i'm not sure whether he knew where he was getting shot from or not he came back around the tree that says to me that he was getting shot from this angle as well but i will take all of his gear and then heal up so we're out of the circle again not kind of fortunate on that regard but now we need to take the opportunity to heal I did say we needed some heals, guys, and that is what we got. I've played this one relatively okay. Probably probably should have arguably took the adrenaline shot here just to get it over with, get my full boost, and we can move. I am going to move now because I do not want to get caught out to the circle. I know that they're probably watching me here, but I don't want to be moving as the circle's moving. You're taking damage, and it's just extra things to think about. I'm going to try and come up the hill here as best I can. I am aware that if there was a guy to the bottom, which I think there was, there he is, look. That he would be able to take me out. Now, I appreciate I made a bit of noise there as well, so I'm going to try and quickly get on the move. There's the final guy. I thought maybe it was a flower, a deadly flower. I think it was a flower, actually. So I'm coming right to the top here, right into the top of this circle, so I have better vision than him. And then we're just going to keep moving, guys. None of these trees are of wide enough to give me proper coverage to be honest because i don't know where he is so if i stand behind one of these trees he could very well be behind me but i've pushed to the there he is pushed to the top of the circle so that i could narrow that path he couldn't get me and there we are guys chicken dinner seven kills in arcade i hope you enjoyed that one why don't we dive into another match before we wrap up this video all right guys we are back we are into another item heaven looks like we're diving into georgia paul we are going to get so much action kicking off here it is all going to be about who gets to the ground first guys i'm going to give this a little bit more then i'm going to dive out and almost go straight down here wow this is going to be close guys item heaven though so no matter where you dive you should be pretty good i'm actually going to aim for these three buildings i should just be able to make it with the full lock on here onto this first building then if we can get a weapon we can hopefully take some people out straight away what is this uzi and the tommy gun i'll quickly pick them up quickly have a look around and see if anyone's landing or set to land no one with me guys which is surprising there is a guy just landing over the top. Obviously can't make that shot. Don't have a scope. Um, I think I'm going to take the UMP over the Uzi. And then we need to basically get a move on here. Start looting and get ourselves. There's a vertical foregrip here. I'm going to take that for the, U the UMP. Sorry. Wow. Getting mixed up completely. I really thought we would see some people early on there. Suppressor for pistols. We don't need that. I'll take the red dot. I think there was a backpack there that we needed. Times four scope is nice. Take some more ammo for that. Don't need any more for the nine millimeter really at this point. And the org talk about item heaven. One of my favorite guns, but as you guys know, you can only get it from the from the loot drop within the regular game. So I'm going to do one more quick look at this house, see what's in, and then we basically need to get out of here. Suppressor for pistols, not what we need. Take that pan and five five six the m16 i'm gonna pass that up where's this guy Let's see if we can locate him he's running around outside here there he is oh wow i thought i had him i thought i had him okay there's someone else that i've just heard 
I'm not gonna go right up to the window there. He is. Is he gonna loot that guy? <laughs> what a crazy man! I don't know if that was a bot or what, but if he went to loot the guy that I just took out, he must have knew that I had eyes on him. Wow. Circle is now closing in, guys. So I'm actually going to uh I'm gonna just get out of here basically whilst I have the chance. I do not want to take damage to the circle and end up losing out to it. I don't have far to go, so I'm not too concerned, but I do want to quickly have a look at this guy we took out. He did seem to have a helmet, level 2 helmet. He had a boost. Not too much to help us, but let's make our way into the action here where people are. Then we can start thinking about what we're going to do for the next step. I think I'm going to boost up, guys. I think that's a wise decision. I don't think anyone's behind me with the circle closing in. I haven't got to worry about people sneaking up on me. But basically, you get the, you know, pretty much five minutes with this boost, don't you? So I'm going to use it now. Match shouldn't be taking too much longer than that. We can always boost along the way as needed. Yeah, I hear a guy running next to us. That UMP on for the fast fire rate next to us. But he's right here, guys. He is... I think he's in this house. I heard his footsteps, so you guys must have heard his footsteps too. I think he went in that door. There he is. Oh, I thought he was going to come back to the window to look at me. I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> I'll take that kill. Wow, he had a grozzer. Awesome stuff. Okay. Three kills, 12 people left. Making our way up towards the circle. Plenty of firefights within that building. I'm not going to go crazy here. I don't have any stun grenades or anything in order to help me. I'm just going to do a little bit scouting at this point. See if I can find anyone. Work out where people are. So just kind of peeking around the corners here. I'm going to move up towards the circle again. I never like being caught, especially when it's small circles like this. I hate getting caught where you're into a gunfight and trying to get out of the circle at the same time. I just don't like it. There's a guy definitely to our right, so I'm going to cut around here to this side because I really don't know where he is, and I don't want him shooting me in the back. I'm going to try and come to the side of the circle here. Right to the edge. Pretty much in it at this point, but I'm pretty sure we've ran past a couple of people, which is a little bit worrying. Pretty sure there's some people camping in these houses. I'm going to sit here and analyse the map a second. There's not a lot of buildings left here. I'm going to basically move forward a little bit to get right to that circle and try and work out where people are. I'm going to put that Grozer back up. Not the Grozer, the uh, Yorg. One of my favourite weapons. I love the recoil on it. Get over the wall. Please. It's probably better to jump there. I had coverage from the car. One of my favourite weapons. I love how there's there's such little recoil. Yeah, I hear a guy over here. Running from the circle. Ah. There he is. Woo! That was close. I didn't really even need to scope in there, but I did. You know what it is? I'm going to quickly check, even though it's in the circle. Just in case he has any boosts like that. Probably didn't need to do that, to be honest. Okay, we have another guy. He's going to be running out of this house, guys. So I'm basically going to take him as soon as he does. Unless he's sitting there. Maybe he heard me. Can't come from behind me. Take that boost while someone's shooting. Okay, I think he heard that though, guys. I think he knows that I'm here. He's in the house. I mean, I don't think he knows that there's a, a tiny little slit like this down the side, necessarily. So he's not going to expect me to be standing here, I don't think. And I can hopefully pop out on him when he comes out of that house. So he's going to have to come out of here, unless he's moved and uh, it's not what I want. Circle's 135 metres away and it's closing. Let's just hope he hasn't done me there. I mean, I didn't hear anyone go down. 
There is a guy just gone over the top of the brow of that hill. I wonder whether that was him. I wonder if that was him. But the circle is right on me here. I mean, I'm going to be good here. I don't have to worry about it. Okay. Whilst they're engaged, I'm actually going to run up behind. Oh, we have a guy behind us. There he is. I'm down. Only two left, guys. Only two left. Adrenaline shot, eight times scope. Probably too lethal at this stage, to be honest. But I am going to boost. I could have potentially ran at him. Might have been the thing to do. I'm going to rotate a little bit here because he expects me to come up the hill right there. Well, I have the eyes here. I can easily drop back off the hill unless he's up the hill as well. Which would be the wise thing to, for him to do. He's either snaking or he's up here. Let's see if we can run out the chicken dinner. Get two. I mean, I'm ready for him. Probably once I've reloaded, I'm ready for him. He's either snaking or he's on the hill here. I mean, I'm at the circle, pretty much. And I can't see him. I'm just going to keep myself moving so he can't snipe me off. But he's definitely not down this left side of the hill. He's over this side of the hill. So, there he is, I think, guys. Maybe it was a, a leaf again. No, it is. He's snaking. Hello, my friend. You are going to... Uh... Give me a chicken dinner. Wow, that was closer than it needed to be. I wish I had a car 98 to take him out. But there you are, guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. Make sure to subscribe for more PUBG Mobile. I've been your host, Judo Sloth. And until next time, peace out.